welcome to my quarantine fish room. Thank you. Okay, so, start off with an empty pail. Put the hermit crabs in it. You, of course, have let this sit in the bag in the water for 15 to 20 minutes to equalize the temperature. Sometimes they will come and it's what we call a dry pack. Because they don't need to have water. Let's take the towel. Above your head, where the clock is. Where the clock is? Look yeah. behind the blue. Huh. Okay. There's they a will clock have a wet there. piece of paper towel in it. Because blue leg hermit crabs will sit on the sand in the hot sun out of the water during low tide. So all they need is 100% humidity. In that case, all you do is come up and put them in your tank. See, they're very durable. That's only blue legs, so. though. The other ones that are underwater, they require acclimation, okay? So say you've got any other kind of hermit crab, once again, scoop, wait a minute, scoop, wait a minute. Scoop, wait a minute, scoop. You see where this is going? And then double the volume, pour it off. Scoop, 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 scoop. What's it get? This video is very repetitive. Yeah, I figured this way they'll know for certain. Okay? Then you put them in the tank, throw my water away. Okay. Never put our water in your tank. Never put anybody's water. Never yeah. put any shipping water. There's going to be ammo lock in it to detoxify the ammonia. Aaron's supposed to have brought it here. I've only told him three yeah. times. Uh, it's been two or this today was probably the third time. Okay. This is a fish. Doesn't matter what kind of fish it is. You're going to want to acclimate them the same way. Float the bag 15, 20 minutes. Open the bag. Put them in a container. Okay. Which tank did you come out of? Down there? Down there. Okay. I didn't have to We're move not really together. acclimating because he's already in this water. We're pretending. Okay? So scoop. Wait a minute. Scoop. Wait a minute. Take 15 minutes to double the volume of this water. Okay? Then dump. Well, we're dumping it back in there because that's where it came from, but in reality, you'd be dumping it down the drain, okay? Then take scoop, minute, scoop, minute, scoop. 15 minutes later, you got the water doggle volume. Take the fish, put the fish into the tank. The easiest and the best way to do it is to put it into a very fine mesh net. Fish get snagged in fine mesh nets a lot harder, bloody, like they don't get snagged so much. If you're getting a fox face, do not pet it. It's poisonous. If you get a lionfish, don't pet it. It is poisonous. If you get a trigger fish, don't put your hand near its mouth because, well, it'll bite you. So, take your fish. Dump Everything it in will the bite you. And then put the fish in the tank. Okay? In our case, we can put the water back because, well, that's where it came from. Yeah. But in your case, once again, don't put my water in your tank. Especially if you have a reef tank, because our water has copper in it, and copper kills any inverts. Not all our water is copper. Okay, in it. well, whatever. That water, for angelfish, tangs, and lionfish, it'll be in chloroquine phosphate. The lionfish the... aren't in chloroquine. Yeah, I know. You're supposed to have them in there. They're not as sensitive. Basically, copper safe in angelfish and uh, tangs. It lowers their immune response so that they uh, sometimes get bacterial infection. Chloroquine phosphate seems to work by making the fish poisonous to ick. Okay? Go online and look it all up. Uh, it used to be a product called Marex from Aquatronics, and it was a wondrous drug, but then Aquatronics went out of business, and we had to go to copper, but now I've been buying chloroquine phosphate just in a regular jar. Powder, don't inhale it. Because it'll kill you. But that little white jar? Yeah, little white jar. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I thought it was that big jug of blue stuff. No, that's copper safe. Oh. Well, it's copper safe knockoff because they don't make copper safe uh, anymore. So I know a guy that knew a guy who was a scientist and he made me some. Okay. 
He made you this? No, he made me the fake copper safe. Oh. Uh. Because copper safe is a lot easier than chloroquine phosphate because in order to test the effective level of copper safe, it takes a little kit and costs 15, 20 bucks. In order to test the effective level of chloroquine phosphate, you need a infrared photospectrometer or something similar that's really complicated and only really uh, big institutions oh, yeah. would ever have it. Okay, so this here is a crab. Once again, he came out of the uh, invert system. So, we're going to take this is water from the invert system. Scoop. Wait a minute, scoop. Or you can use the drip method on him. So I'll invert it so you can either drip them, or for the less sensitive ones like crabs and stuff, you can scoop them. Double the volume, pour half of it off. Scoop. Wait a minute, scoop. Wait a minute, scoop. Wait a minute, scoop. Okay, we're going to pause for a second.